Here's how you can add an advertising account to Optimizer. The first time you log into your Optimizer account, after subscribing to the platform, you'll land on the welcome page where you'll be asked to add your first account to Optimizer. As you can see, the initial setup wizard lets us choose between linking a Google or Amazon Ads account. For this course's purpose, we'll go ahead and connect a Google Ads account. When you start the linking process for your Google Ads account, you'll see this page. Here, you'll be able to choose if you want to add a login that's already set up in your browser, or if you would like to add a new one. For this example, we'll be using the login that's already set up in my browser, but you can go ahead and choose a different one if you'd like. After inputting the login's information, we'll be asked for authorization for Optimizer to have access to the account, so we click on Allow. When you grant access to your Google Ads login, the connection will be made and the accounts under that login will be linked to Optimizer. We can now move forward with the setup wizard, so we click on Next. The first thing you'll be asked is what are the most important things that you would like Optimizer to help you with. Within the alternatives we have track and manage budgets, manage and optimize ads, audit and monitor accounts, search query and keyword management, manage bids and bid adjustments, manage shopping campaigns, and streamline workflows and processes. We'll go ahead and choose manage and optimize ads as our main goal, but you can choose as many of these alternatives as you want. When you click on your main goal, you'll notice that new options will appear on the screen, showing more specific goals. Right now, we'll leave things as they are, but you can choose more of these options if you want Optimizer to have more granular data. In the third step of the setup wizard, you'll be able to start the accounts under your login as favorites, which will allow you to gain quicker access to them in the MCC dashboards further on. To start your accounts as favorites, all you have to do is click on the checkbox next to their name and then click on Next. In the fourth step of the setup wizard, we'll be asked to set up alerts for our favorite accounts to monitor key metrics. Right now, we'll leave these alerts as they are, but you can later come back to them and modify them as you want. Don't worry, we'll talk more about alerts further on in this course in another video. Finally, we'll be asked to invite our team members to Optimizer. All you have to do here is add their email addresses in the text box separated by commas, then clicking on the CAPTCHA, and finally clicking on Next. You've now successfully linked your accounts to Optimizer. Here, you can go ahead and finish the setup process by clicking on Continue, or you can choose to schedule a call with one of our sales representatives. We'll click on Continue, which will guide us to the MCC dashboard. If you've already linked an account to Optimizer and you would like to add a new one, you can head over to the Manage Linked Accounts page by clicking on the Link Another Account button or by heading over to the Settings icon in the top right corner and then clicking on Link Accounts to Optimizer. Once you're in the Manage Linked Accounts page, you'll be able to see a list of all of the logins that have been linked to your account. As you can see, we support Google Ads, Microsoft Ads, Google Analytics, Google Merchant Center, Search Ads 360, Facebook, and Amazon. It's important to note here that you can add as many logins as you want to your account. To add a new login to your account, all you have to do is head over to the Add Logins button, select the type of account you wish to add, and then go through the same setup process that we reviewed while we added our first login. After finishing this process, we'll be able to see our new login in our Google Ads login list.